O God, save me by your name, by your power defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer, give ear to the words of my mouth. Today's Mass is being celebrated for Mary Dillon and Mary McManus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare our hearts to celebrate this Mass, let us take a moment to call to mind our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father where you intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The ungodly reasoned unsoundly, saying to themselves, Let us lie and wait for the righteous man, because he is inconvenient to us and opposes our actions. He reproaches us for sins against the law and accuses us of sins against our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and calls himself a child of the Lord. He became to us a reproof of our thoughts. The very sight of him is a burden to us because his manner of life is unlike that of others and his ways are strange. We are considered by him as something base. He avoids us are as unclean. He calls the last end of the righteous happy and boasts that God is his father. Let us see if his words are true and let us test what will happen at the end of his life. For if the righteous man is God's child, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his adversaries. Let us test him with insult and torture so that we may find out how gentle he is and make trial of his forbearance. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to what he says, he will be protected. Thus they reasoned, but they were led astray, for their wickedness blinded them, and they did not know that the secret purposes of God, nor hoped for the wages of holiness, nor discerned the prize for blameless souls. The word of the Lord. The Lord is near to broken hearts. The Lord is near to broken hearts. The face of the Lord is against evildoers, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to broken hearts. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord rescues them from them all. The Lord is near to broken hearts. He keeps all their bones, not one of them will be broken. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. The Lord is near to broken hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. No one lives on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went about in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea because the Jewish leaders were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the Jewish festival of booths was near, but after his brothers had gone to the festival, then he also went, not publicly, but as it were, in secret. Now some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Is not this the man whom the authorities are trying to kill? And here he is, speaking openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? 
Yet we know where this man is from. But when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me, and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest Jesus, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, we're in uh, Friday of this week of Lent, and in the Gospel today, I can't help but think of what are some of the things that might get in the way of doing God's will? What are some of the things that might get in the way of doing God's will? And one of the things that I can think of is fear. Fear often gets in the way of doing God's will. Fear of death, uh, fear that we will be uh, set aside uh, from our group of friends or become an outcast, fear that our family will reject us. Fear really gets in the way a lot. Jesus today in the gospel was not afraid. He knew that these authorities were, were after him and the people did not like what he was doing and that he basically had a target on him. People were plotting to, to arrest him and to kill him, we hear. Is this not the man they're planning to kill? But yet he kept going about doing his work because he had, a, he had the bigger picture in mind. He had the bigger picture in mind, and he knew that his hour had not yet come. Now, what is that hour, my friends? Well, that hour is when he is to suffer his, his, his passion and death, but the story doesn't end there, that he will rise from the dead. He will rise from the dead and conquer death, conquer Satan, conquer evil. He was not afraid. He knew that he would have to sacrifice and endure some trials. But friends, he did it out of love for you and me and in obedience to his father. That was the lamb that was slain for you and me. So I know that in our own personal lives, sometimes fear does get in the way. But let us not be afraid. And I know that that's super easy for me to say and, and sometimes difficult to sink in. But don't be afraid. Because I would suggest to you that the Lord has our back. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are looking out for us. The Blessed Virgin and all the saints and angels in heaven are looking out for us. And yeah, there might be difficulties in this world. And there may even be trials. But God is looking out for us. And we do not have to be afraid. Fear is contagious. But so is hope. May God bless you all. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and God, our hearts, we that you, Lord, may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities and cleanse me from all of my sins. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Alphonsus Liguri, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Ecce Agnus Dei, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In Christ we have redemption by his blood and forgiveness of our sins in accord with the riches of his grace. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the wicked enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.